Hello and welcome. Firstly, thank you for taking the time to explore our website and in particular the admissions section. My name is Paul Dickinson and as one of the assistant heads, I focus my time on enhancing the lives of the pupils in the junior school and also ensuring that our admissions process is as smooth and as stress free as it can be. It is a stressful time for both pupils and parents and I hope this short slideshow will provide you with some clarity of what you can expect in January if you were to apply. If at the end of this slideshow you still have questions, then please feel free to email admissions at bancroft.org with any further queries you may have. The first stage is the online registration form. Although I would encourage you to visit the school with your child beforehand, seven years is an exceptionally long period of time and actually experiencing the, the place and understanding more about our aims and beliefs will give you more confidence when applying. We have upcoming virtual and in-person open days that are advertised on our website. The registration form itself is filled in online and you'll be required to upload a copy of your child's birth certificate and pay the registration fee separately. We understand that COVID has adversely affected all aspects of your child's education over the last few years. And we've changed our entrance exams to hopefully provide a platform that allows each child, independent of their background, the ability to demonstrate their academic potential. The entrance papers will include a maths paper and English paper. The length of both papers will be approximately 30 minutes. The third part of our assessment is a computer based assessment that focuses on verbal and nonverbal reasoning. This part of the assessment does not require any preparation and allows us to better understand your child. Sample English and maths papers can be found online and they'll allow you to understand the level that we would have expected of a year six pupil. In preparation for the exam, I would strongly recommend that your child looks through the sample papers so they're familiar with the sorts of questions that they might be asked and practice answering them in exam style conditions. We discourage doing repetitive pass paper after pass paper with or without a tutor. Not only does this promote negative work habits, your child runs the risk of losing their enthusiasm and curiosity for learning. Our entrance exam is on Friday the 14th of January. The interviews are my favourite part of the whole process. For us as teachers, your child becomes a child rather than just a result on a spreadsheet. We get to find out about who they are and what makes them tick. In the interviews, we look to meet about 200 pupils based on how they've performed in their exams. We've increased the number of pupils we interview, and this is another measure we wanted to take to allow more students the opportunity to shine and show us their potential. In the interviews, children will be on their own with an experienced teacher. As a school, we felt that we could better tailor each interview to a pupil's individual needs resulting in them performing better and having a more enjoyable experience. There is no preparation necessary for these interviews. We're simply looking for a curious and inquisitive young minds willing to engage in discussions of ideas that they may not be familiar with. The date for the interview is Saturday the 29th of January. We offer a number of academic awards each year. These awards have replaced our old scholarships. Our academic awards are based on the pupil's performance in both their entrance exam and the interview. It's an honor to receive an academic award and it is only given to those pupils who really excel through the whole admissions process. It should be noted that there is no financial reduction in fees offered with these awards. There is no separate scholarship exam. Every child that applies is considered for one of these honorary academic awards. Regarding our music scholarships, specific details can be found online. Awards for art, drama and sports are given to the pupils once they've been in school for a year and have had the opportunity to show both their passion and talent for a particular subject. The school also offers a number of assisted places based on means tested household income. And these awards can range from anything from zero to 100% of the fees and it is reassessed annually. We ask parents who wish to be considered for a means tested award to complete an initial financial assessment form found online uh, and that will allow us to inform you whether you'd be eligible 
before you submit your reg first registration form. More details regarding all of our awards can, and scholarships can be found on our website. Thank you for listening and I'll finish by wishing you and your child good luck through this entrance process and I hope that whichever school they end up in that they are successful and happy. If you do have any further questions please don't hesitate to email admissions at bancrofts.org.